Hello YouTubers, this is Mercy Watts once again. What should I tell you guys about this little unit right now? I've been testing it, testing it, testing it before the uh, new Inwin Chopping Pro Mini ITX uh, case comes in with a 200 watt gold rated. Um, I was gonna put it in the other, you know, the one I showed you guys, uh, the one I already have here, but that one only has uh, two, it's 100, 150 watts and it's bronze rated. I'm not going to put any more music because obviously um, they're not monetizing these videos. If one of them takes off, then I won't get anything. But it's okay. Don't matter. This is mainly for friends and family. Um, this is what I wanted to show you right here. It's, what happened here is... The audio was disabled out of the HDMI when there was a Windows update. It took out the video driver originally from ASUS. I had the latest one. Then somehow it had updated, you know, on the Windows. It took out the driver and it replaced it with its own generic one why did it do that i don't know it's because of that other um optional i think i accepted that one by mistake that something I, I don't know it's supposed to be preparing you for windows 11 maybe i don't know it don't matter the thing about it is it kill my audio on my hdmi then I reinstalled the driver from ASUS that actually belonged to, you know, the video right here. And it still wouldn't work. I kept adding and adding and adding, and it wouldn't work. Then I wanted to make certain that I get audio out of the middle one here this is the one that lights up green and of course that's the analog 2.1 you know sound um i don't have a display port to see if anything was coming out of there so you know, like a wire and then for the TV or the or a monitor with speakers. Or, I don't know. I don't even know where the audio comes out of here because I never tested this guy. Really, I, I haven't. So, um, Then I had the bright idea to come over and put an aux cable here with a little speaker and whammo I had audio so I knew the audio here was working then I used my Bluetooth headphones and that had audio as well so I was getting audio it's just not from the HDMI hooked up to the TV it was getting quite frustrating um, the next step was going to put a, another video card right here because I have a couple of them. And I also have like a low profile one that is really small and that would have been perfect. It doesn't require any power uh, added to the card. It gets it out of the PCI Express bar here or bus whatever I don't know I don't know what you would call this so anyways um that will that was gonna be my next step is I, I I think it's two gigs 
or video ram or video you know whatever and for some reason when I disconnected the audio from the analog right here like I was saying on that last video from Grand Theft Auto disconnected it from here audio came out of here it somehow defaulted to it and wham I had audio I uh, like really nice so I'm like wow that's pretty interesting and it's been working ever since so that's cool wanted to make this video so that I can show you guys the motherboard and all its glory and all its completion I already have the Samsung 980 Pro there two terabytes and then if you look underneath I have the W black right here 750 from Western Digital and it's two terabytes if I'm not mistaken right there so yeah this is a full-fledged computer right now as you saw I was already playing Grand Theft Auto on I, I don't even know if I call that 1080p or, or whatever but it's, it's a little bit higher than 1080p but still playable it looks really nice you saw that I mean for some reason the uploading doesn't do justice to to the video coming out of the HDMI onto my OLED TV and it looks really nice but once I upload the video it looks pretty crappy back so this this board this computer right now um, this Western digital right here has been formatted it had Windows 10 I wanted to put Windows 11 but for some reason Windows 11 wasn't taken into this built for some reason um, it says that it wasn't compatible the somehow my build didn't meet the minimum requirement for Windows 11 and what it is really is nothing more than a security protocol from Windows 11 to uh, tell the users I don't want your computer to be hacked by undesirables on the internet and so they end up doing that uh, where you go into the bios I believe uh, some people in certain builds they gotta have like a, a, a little module that is meant for that kind of security ordeal and they, they plug it into a plug that looks like this you know something like that and you plug it in there and it stands up and that's supposed to be a hardware security ordeal that this but then this board's already I believe starting from 2000 I don't know I think it's 15 or 6 or something like that and and, and so on employing some security chips within the BIOS and then you can just you know I guess maybe I didn't have it set up there this is a 
I never had to deal with that with Windows 10, really. Because Windows 11 is the only one that is hammering your little head to do it. So yeah, it's pretty sad. And like some YouTubers, and I'm talking about people that know exactly what they're doing a lot more than me, are appalled by this kind of decision from Microsoft to pretty much give in too much power to a company that somehow monopolized the industry for computing for their operating system, user interface, whatever you want to call those things. And now this uh, company is dictating how and what device is going to have this operating systems and if you don't qualify uh, via your hardware they're not going to continue uh, supporting it and see that to me is really sad because they're pretty much saying do as we say or suffer the consequences really <clears throat> and as as many youtubers are saying that windows is no longer uh, operating as an operating system is now being utilized as a as a you know you better have it or else type of, you know, instead of working or, you know, with you, they're pretty much are being bullied. They're bullying our hardware to be up to date. So what what's going to happen with the older PCs, you know, older hardware? They're no longer going to be you know supporting <clears throat> this old hardware and like many say many are saying that the, the, the hardware is going to end up in landfills and many other places because a lot of people are not going to have a an operating system that is no longer going to be supported windows 10 it's not going to be supported until they're not going to be supporting it beyond 2025, I believe. And Windows 7, we don't know what's going on with that thing. Windows 8, uh, I never liked Windows 8. Windows XP, uh, I guess, I don't know what happened to that. There's always Linux, and I believe there's always, you know, the Apple... Is it OS that probably you can convert this into like a iMac, something like that? A lot of people may be maybe going like that, you know, Linux or you know, or, or Apple UI type of operating system like an OS like that if window has it that they're being bullying the old hardware and then why too many goddamn windows anyways I mean god damn it I mean let's just like what 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 windows this windows that just keep it the same window uh, update the, the whatever we need and that's it man you have to like abandon windows ab 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 abandoning your 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 product see like windows 7 shouldn't even exist windows 8 either 
nor Windows 10 or, or, or none of that stuff. They should have stopped up Windows XP and from then on, call it whatever. And until right now, Windows 11. And Windows 11 should be nothing more than a beefed up Windows 10. But then they start creating a new platform for this stupid thing. The kernel, whatever the hell is, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, you know, it doesn't like the old hardware. All right, then make, make, th this is what I suggest when Windows should be then. You know, Microsoft should make two Windows 11. One for the older hardware and still maintain it as if it would Windows 11 right now and then have the Windows 11 for the new hardware which we know most new hardware will once we go through that security protocol ordeal that they wish us to go through and that be the end of it you know don't don't hold us hostage with Windows 10 and say we're not going to support you beyond 2025. So, yeah, even this little stupid thing, I couldn't even put Windows 11. And since I have like, you know, 16 or 17, I think it's 16 now, um, keys for Windows 10, I end up putting Windows 10. Also, over here, doesn't this thing say Windows 11 ready? <laughs> I was like telling you guys that I checked this motherboard for compatibility for my um, Ryzen 7 5700G and <laughs> there it is. I should have pointed it out for you guys at that time when I was making that video. This is the Ryzen 500 series desktop ready whatever. So yeah, pretty nice. I don't know, that's a lot of garbage that came with this uh, motherboard in terms of software that doesn't work this game fast I don't know I don't use none of that crap and I call it crap because it just annoys me but yeah this motherboards are really nice they're beautiful but sometimes they can be a pain and uh, my RAM was my RAM was getting really hot due to the fact that the Pico uh, PSU was you know had the heat sink right next to it, and it was making this guy like hell of hot. Those Picos DC to DC, whatever you want to call that, converter. Or... Man. They get extremely hot. So I don't know if I feel comfortable using those Pico next to my RAM. Yeah, that's terrible. That's not good. And... Let me turn the light on here. Oh, dear. Oh, my hand's getting so tired. This right here controls this little fan here. And there's another one here somewhere. Oh, so yeah, right here. That guy controls this guy. So you got your audio board right here. <clears throat> you 
and of course, let's see, of course this audio board has this guy's uh, light up right here, this, this, and this, and you take this little thing right here and start taking all this off, but you only take this one, it only has one screw, I wish they had two, you know, because look at that. Want it to be nice and snug. Maybe I'll put like a double-sided tape. I have that high temp double-sided tape that I can probably put there. Once I put the audio. And you take that one so you can put, believe it or not, your front audio, which lives right there for your... this guys that guy and that guy yeah it's disgusting and so this is just a close-up of this awesome motherboard that I, I'm sure other people have had other issues that I read that they don't like it. I don't know what the deal is. But, uh, it's very silent. Uh, I mean, the easy tweaking software started tweaking it on its own because I accepted it to see what it was going to do since I had that. Pico PSU there um, my brick from Dell shut down because he overheated and he left this guy from being two three three point something to four point three or something like that uh, gigahertz for the um, so now that it's doing that uh, this uh, brain the AMD it's a little faster more performing but it heats up and so this guy needs to spin a little bit faster to keep him cool so yeah, so that you guys know that. So, so far I'm not, you know, disappointed with the board. Um, let's see right here. I'll shorten these two pins on the back right here, that one and that one the power you put a screwdriver between that one and that one you see how there's one missing right there on the back is that one and that one those two together you short them out and your PC turns on just like if you would a switch you press that switch it just shorts those two pins and your board turns on I have no clue what that is. Maybe that's where you put the stupid module thing. I don't know. I don't know. The security module. So Windows 11 can be happy. So I don't know if I'm going to be using this two right here. This is the SATA 4 and 3. This is the SATA probably 1 and 2. So I'm probably going to be using one and two for my SSD once I get the two eight terabyte uh, SSD, which are going to be full of shows and movies. Because if the internet ever goes down anywhere, I can take this computer and I can still watch lots of movies if I so desire. 
and that's why I like to put a lot of storage people because I like this home theater PCs to be self-sufficient I don't want them to skimp on anything in terms of later on I'm running out of space and maybe I can erase a whole bunch of movies I don't want to erase just to make space for the new ones and just just like that and you know sometimes those shows man they they got like a hundred episodes uh, each episode it's like 30 to an hour depending on the show you know Game of Thrones was one of them so yeah this thing is a little what is it is that the latest PC at Express 4.0 ready I'm sure they're probably talking about this guy this guy right here I like how it has that metal right there you know according to them it's stronger uh, the 4 pin connector doesn't have it but this a pin connector does that's kind of weird so yeah by the way this plug right here also can drive a pump so yeah I didn't know that CPU fan uh, it's a AIO pump pump so yeah just wanted to make sure you guys can see it oh dear me can you guys see what it says AIO pump yeah so maybe it has enough juice for that pump that's probably what they're saying I don't know where the CMOS clearing deal is if I want to clear my CMOS I don't know if like, this one has a button on the back I don't think so normally there's a button where you can clear your CMOS some weirdo thing and also that one drains the battery or not or disconnects the battery from the memory I believe it doesn't drain it there's a lot of things I say that people may make fun of it because I don't say it correctly and everything I say people is pretty much rambling for myself I'm literally talking to myself here. All right. Just wanted to let you know that you can always research everything I I have here on the internet and you guys can you know have more information about it. So So there you go. That's that's all I wanted to do, show you guys what I've been up to with this motherboard and the fact that it's all completed and ready for a new home. I went chopping Pro 200 water 80 gold rated. So yeah, unite, be more powerful, support each other, love each other, don't diss each other, don't make fun of each other. You know, educate yourselves, educate each other. And once again, Mercy Ward wishing you guys happy building. West side. Peace. See you next time. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.